If you came to this video for the links about how I made this green jacket, go to the description below. All of the links will be there and almost everything was from Amazon. What is up everyone? I have not been on YouTube in literally like nine months and that makes me so sad that I ever even left it in the first place, but I'm back with a very exciting video that I think fits into the DIY and design niche that this channel is so well because I DIY'd an outfit for the Eras Tour and I'm pretty proud of it. I've gotten so many questions on how I DIY'd this jacket that is a replica of the Reputation Stadium Tour green jacket and in this video, we're gonna talk all about that. The first thing that I wanted to say about the jacket was that it's from Amazon and it was a floor length jacket. So I'm gonna put a picture here of what it looked like before. I did have to hem it. So my grandma sews and she was able to help me hem it. Um, if you don't sew, you could totally just cut the bottom of it off and glue the two pieces of fabric together and it would be good enough to last you just through the concert at least. I don't know that I would recommend doing my method of this jacket if you're gonna wear it like 10 or 20 times. This jacket really was a one night thing. It got me through the Eras tour. It was an amazing piece that everyone loved, but now it's gonna live in my closet and in storage in a very safe place because it's so special to me. Um, and because it's definitely not something that I ever wanna mess up. And so it's very fragile, it's very delicate. I love it so much, but if I could go back, there are some things I would do over. So I just want you to know it is not perfect. It's mostly all glued with fabric glue, actually, because I don't sew. And so the only sewing components to it were that we hemmed the bottom and then my grandma also cinched the elbows and cinched the waist in. But the good thing about this jacket from Amazon was that it came with the ability to cinch the waist already. So she just had to like cut into the seam on the inside and pull it tight and it cinched itself. Um, the elbows, she did add some thread and pulled those tight so that they could cinch and I could have more of a rolled up look because that's what the jacket that Taylor wears looks like. It kind of looks like it's pushed up to her elbows, but you totally don't have to do that. You can wear it with long sleeves or you can just roll the sleeves up yourself. I also did want to say that I sized up, so I'm a size medium in almost everything, but in jackets, I tend to get a size large and I'm glad I did that because um, once we like cinched around and everything, it just felt more like a medium. So I did size up one size and I would highly, highly recommend doing that. Okay, so how we're gonna do this is we're just gonna go by each side and I'm gonna show you everything and tell you about where I got all of the patches and how I did it. So this is the right side of the jacket. This is what you guys saw in the video, I think, that everyone was freaking out over. I made this rep patch, but that's only because I knew about my show 10 or less days before my show, my Eras Tour show. And so I wasn't able to get the rep patches that are on like Etsy or anything here in time. So I made these patches, but you totally don't have to do that. There are patches like this available on the internet. So then all these other patches on this front side are from Amazon. The heart patch, all the roses, the snakes, all from Amazon. And the jacket did have pockets already, but I put some gold trim. I just got some really thin gold like ribbon trim at Joanne Crafts and trimmed out the pocket. So that's this side of it. Something else that I did want to say is that on the shoulders I added these pieces with the extra fabric from when we hemmed it um, to make it look kind of more like square edged like Taylor's actual jacket because this was just a cardigan when I ordered it on Amazon so it didn't have a collar or shoulder pieces or um, cuff pieces on the sleeves. So I added those with the extra green fabric that I had and then just used the gold ribbon trim from Joanne to kind of make it look a little bit more fancy. So this is the right sleeve of the jacket. And if you remember on Taylor's right sleeve in the Reputation jacket, it said Reputation Stadium Tour and then it had the city that she was in. But I just wanted this one to say the Eras Tour because I was going to the Eras Tour. But you can find those Reputation Stadium Tour patches online if you get lucky, um, but I have seen them online before. Okay, next let's talk about the left side of the jacket. Like I said, it did come with pockets, um, but this pocket right here, I completely made out of fabric. There was not a pocket on the left chest. I just made that um, and I used the gold trim that I was talking about. So that pocket is fake and then the patches and everything down here are Amazon. Um, on this left arm, this is the only patch that is not from Amazon and it's from Joanne Crafts and I've seen it there a lot um, since I got it. It's black and it says crazy cat lady and I just had to add it because I had a black cat and Taylor's a crazy cat lady, we all know this. So it was just too perfect for me to not add that on there. 
And then you can see again how I added like a cuff to the sleeve. And then my grandma did cinch the elbows. She just put one piece of thread in and pulled it tight and that cinched the elbows so that I could kind of push them up because I didn't want to have it long sleeve. I wanted it to be just like Taylor's and she wears it kind of like around her elbow. Okay, next we're gonna talk about the back of the jacket. So I hope that you can see it all, but I just wanted to explain how I did the snake on the back. So what I did was I took black fabric and I just drew out the snake that I wanted it to look like because there are a lot of big snake patches on the internet, but I didn't like the looks of them. I wanted it to look very identical to Taylor's. And so I did my best. I just cut it out of black fabric, doubled up the fabric, and then put it on the green. Um, and then I took gold sequins, big gold sequins from Joanne Crafts. You could get them at any craft store. And I put them all over the snake. Then I wanted to give the snake a face. So I took some more of the gold trim and just a red little sequin eye. Um, and I also found some like strips of gold sequins. And so I cut those and added just more detail on the face. And so now the snake has a face and a tongue. And I think that that really like makes it special and makes it stand out. This patch I also had to make because I couldn't find one on the internet. So I just used pink and silver sequins and a little bit of black to make this patch. And everything else is from Amazon. I also did want to say I got a couple of pins at Joanne because there were some things on her jacket that looked a little bit more 3D and a little bit more like floral. So I just went to the Joanne like pin section near the jewelry. Um, I think these were probably pendants for like necklaces. And I glued those on there and I used heavy duty fabric glue for all of this and nothing has come off. It's been seven months since my show and nothing has fallen off. I used the E6000 glue and everything has held on really well. So yeah, again, all of these patches, I love this star patch. They're all from Amazon. Okay, if you've made it this far, I've had so many people commenting and saying, I need that jacket, I need that jacket. So if the concept of making this yourself kind of overwhelms you, I did wanna throw this possibility out there. I'm considering opening up my time to make some of these jackets. And so what that would look like is you would commission me to make the jacket for you. I would get all the materials. I would take care of everything. We would talk about sizing and I would make the jacket for you. I just do wanna be so upfront that this was an expensive jacket to make. I think it cost me around $300. And so then when you add labor on top of that, it would be an expensive project. Um, but for anyone out there who is very overwhelmed by the thought of making this themselves, I am going to open up my DMs, and so if you want to DM me and talk about the process of what that would look like, I would be happy to talk about the jacket with you. So send me a DM if you would at all be interested in me making a jacket for you. I would love to help you out. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is a little try on. I'm also going to link everything that I wore under the jacket, and I'm going to pop some pictures up on the screen. But here are some pictures of how I styled it. Um, and I will include those links if I can still find those items. So I wore a red bodysuit with it, black sequin shorts, and I wore some sparkly tights from Amazon too. Also, I did just want to say that I made these boots to wear with the outfit in Atlanta. So these are based on her Aerostore Reputation outfit and these snakes like wrapped around my ankles. It was really cool. Okay, so here's a full look at what the jacket looks like. I'm so, so proud of it. I just thought you guys might want to see a full shot of what it looks like. I've definitely lost some sequins on the back, but overall it's in pretty good condition. Thank you guys so much for caring about this jacket the way that I do. I love it with all of my heart and I love that you guys love it. All right, well there you have it. I gave all the details of my jacket. I hope that you love it as much as I do. Thank you so much for coming to this video and being interested in it in the first place. I used to make a lot of YouTube videos and you never know if I'm going to pop back on and make some more exciting DIY content. So it would mean the world if you would subscribe to this YouTube also. It feels so weird to say that. I'm out of practice. I haven't said it in so long. But if you do want to subscribe to this channel, that would mean the world to me. I'm a lot more active on TikTok right now, so I'll have all of that linked below where you can find me on TikTok or Instagram. But if you're interested in your own version of this jacket and you're overwhelmed at the thought of making it yourself, you can comment below or you can send me an email. I'll have my email in the description as well. I'd love to help you out with the process of it. And if possible, I'd love to make a jacket for you. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Every link that you need should be down below. I love all of you guys and I will see you in my next video whenever that is.